Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. Another day with lots of sunshine across the QCA and of course it's a little breezy as well. So river's been a little active as it's continuing to gradually rise. So uh, we're going to get that flood update a little bit later this afternoon and we will have that update coming up on your newscast this evening as well as on our website in our news app. But uh, yeah, the general idea is that the snow melt is going to continue to the north. It's all going to trickle down into the Mississippi River Basin and flow downstream leading to that rise on the rivers. Now temperatures, they're rising pretty quickly as well. 78 degrees right now at the Quad Cities International Airport in Moline. Upper 40s is where we were early this morning. So that southwest wind, the dry air, and the sunshine really helping boost those temperatures very quickly. We're at 76 in Princeton and Galesburg, 75 in Muscatine and Davenport, 74 comfortable degrees in Galena. It's not as windy as yesterday. Still have those winds out of the southwest anywhere from 5 to just about 20 miles per hour. So yes, it's still a little bit breezy, and that's why we do have that increased fire risk here today. Uh, most of the area under a red flag warning, but as you saw from the wind map, uh, the gustiest winds are west of the Mississippi River. River. So uh, from the Quad Cities Metro and points to the west, that's where we really need to keep an eye on the potential for some fires to spread quickly with that low relative humidity as well as those gusty winds. Eventually we will get some rain in here as we head into Saturday and uh, that's going to kind of lower that risk for any fires as we cool those temperatures down as well. So uh, we were talking earlier in the newscast about Fort Lauderdale, Florida getting that record amount of rainfall. This is all associated with the low pressure system. Lots of Gulf of Mexico moisture with it. Uh, that is going to continue to kind of meander off to the south and uh, move off to the northeast shouldn't have too much of an impact on our weather but uh, here locally we are just going to have a very bright sunny day those temperatures get in the low to mid 80s with plenty of sunshine we'll keep that south and southwest wind about 10 to 20 miles per hour and yes we'll be very close to some record highs uh, maybe just a little bit shy in Dubuque and Burlington but in the Quad Cities uh, we'll be one degree away from that record of 86 degrees that was set back in 2006 yesterday we hit 85 and based on these temperatures today we might get up to 86, so we'll have to wait and see. Tonight, another comfortable night, low to mid 50s. As we head into tomorrow, a little cooler than today by just a couple of degrees. Still going to feel very nice with another day in the lower 80s. So tomorrow we'll see lots of sunshine in the morning. More clouds increase here as we head into the afternoon hours. And then as we head into Saturday, that's when things are going to start to change. We'll see those clouds thicken up here Friday night. Saturday morning, we're going to have a line of scattered showers and even some thunderstorms as well. Uh, these will move through during the morning hours. Plenty of dry time here during the day Saturday. Then the timing of the cold front is going to be key to any storm chances here late Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Right now, the best chance looks to be east of the Mississippi River, and uh, this is where we're going to have a level one uh, risk of maybe a couple stronger storms. Uh, the main threat will probably be some hail and some gusty winds. Tornado threat pretty low, not concerned about flash flooding, but that higher risk of severe weather is going to be to the south. And then on the back side of the system Sunday, it's going to be not a great day, if I'm being honest. Temperatures will be in the 40s to near 50 with falling temperatures due to a strong northwest wind. Might even be a couple of wet snowflakes mixed in as well. But we make a nice rebound early next week with highs back to the 60s and 70s. Wet snowflakes. Let's move on.